Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up an animation in Construct 2. Now if you look at my screen I have already set up my tile map and my sprites in the background, these skyscrapers. Uh, reason for that is that I will be showing you how to do this in lesson rather than on YouTube as it's quite a simple thing to do and it won't take long and wasn't worth the time to record a video however if there is a request for it I will do one and also arts is not my strong point so I can't create anything amazingly visual um, like the map for example um, but I will show you in class how to set one up and then you can go off and create your own levels essentially okay so first thing we need to set up an animation in um, Construct 2 is we need a sprite sheet okay so this could be anything you want human character alien character it's up to you but I'm gonna stick with Batman so I'm gonna type in Batman sprite sheet and I'm gonna make sure it's a PNG if it remember a PNG is a transparent file type so if you've got a background in it you will need to go in Photoshop and take the background out and make it a PNG file so for now, I'm going to try and find a PNG file, file without having to go in Photoshop. I'm sure there'll be one somewhere. Save image. Oh, okay, this one looks like a PNG. If I just go back. Save image. I'll just have a look at this one, see if it is okay or not. So I'm going to save it in my pictures. Go into here, click sprite, call it man. Open it up. Now to open a file type, it's the same as we added our tile map. So you just come up here into the folder, click there and find the sprite sheet. There's mine. I'm going to just double click it. So if I just select this one just to check if it's a PNG or not, it doesn't look like it. No, it's not a PNG. So I'll take that one out, make sure I delete it from my object types, delete it like so. There we go. Make sure I'm still on the correct layer. I am. So we'll quickly try and find another one oops there we go that's better must be one here somewhere fine I won't use Batman in this instance because I can't seem to find a oh is, could this be a PNG Oh, there we go. Found the PNG, so I'll use this one. So I'm going to save image. There's fine. Go back into Construct 2. Double click Sprite and call it Batman. And I'm going to double click and open my folder or my Batman image, which is this one here. So if I just move some things, as you can see, there's a lot of sprites in here okay so for my animation I'm obviously going to need a run cycle which can be this one also I will need an idle animation but first I'm going to concentrate on the running animation so if I go on to here where it says animations right click and create new animation I'm going to give this call this ID right in capital letters like so okay I make sure I'm on ID right there we go so back into default we're going to select the animations we want for our um, running animation or our walking animation so I'm just going to use this tool here which is the rectangle select and I'm going to select these ones right here for his running animation and I'm going to click the cut tool here 
and go into our ID write animation and just click paste in large canvas size to get the appropriate things. To set up an animation is very easy. What we do is we click, we first select our first one, but first we need to cut out the other ones. So we've got a copy of, the f of them ready. One second, let me get this right. So, you might be a bit more precise than me doing this. I'm terrible at judging distance, so I might lose a bit of the cape there. It doesn't matter for this demonstration. You can perfect it in your own time. So, I'm just going to press cut there. And as you see, I've got, I'm just going to rub out ooh, the bit that is just over there so that little extra sprite from the next image won't turn up okay so I'm going to select this crop it so we don't have this whole area and that's fine and what we do down here where it says animation frame we just right click add new frame and that's our first frame done and what we do to get our old images back we just paste enlarge canvas size and there's our originals and it's just pretty much a copy a uh, rinse and repeat job so we need to get this one next so cut these um, select this one crop add frame done paste do these ones so cut select again crop add frame paste again enlarge canvas size it can be a little tedious to this process unity is far much more simpler for getting your animations in quicker then Construct 2, however Construct 2's ones just works just fine as well. So cut that, copy that, crop, add frame. Paste, enlarge canvas size. Go over this again. frame, paste again, cut, crop, add frame, paste, enlarge canvas, nearly there. Cut, crop, add frame, paste, enlarge canvas, nearly there. So copy, cut, crop, add frame, paste, enlarge canvas. Add frame and the last one, just paste it in, enlarge canvas, crop it, if it can be cropped, there we go, add frame and delete this unnecessary frame here, delete. Okay, and that is your right one done. We will need a copy for our left as well, so what we do is we just click duplicate and call this ID left, ID underscore left like so that's not an underscore all in capitals will be easier and then
we need to decide on our idle animation. So I'm just going to pick one for this instance. So I'm just going to select everything that I don't need. Obviously, you can have a, a more fluid animation if you want. I'm just going to have one idle stance, which is going to be this guy. So I'm just going to crop. Add frame and delete the unnecessary one. Delete. Okay. And that is Batman done. Gonna move him up here. And there is Batman in our scene. A bit too tall. Oops, see Daisy. Make sure I'm on Batman. He is bit too tall there but that should be okay that looks okay for now I'm gonna not snap to grid I'm gonna place them just there so that is our animation set up in the next vid I will show you how to get this character moving with his animations walking moving so I'll see you then Bye for now.